Good morning everyone! We're still in Luanda, my hometown and the capital of Angola and today I'm visiting the fortress of St. Miguel over here in this wall you can see the very first president of Angola, Agustinho Neto. The fortress of St. Michael was built in 1576 by Paulo Dias de Novaes. I've been saying St. Miguel most of the times because Michael is Miguel in Portuguese. So I got a little bit confused, but it's okay. Let's go. And this beautiful statue of this strong woman is Queen Nzinga Mband. She was the queen of the 17th century of the Ndongo and Matamba kingdoms of the Mbundu people in Angola. So right here we have the speech of the Independence Day of Angola, which happened in, on 11th of November of 1975. Agustin Neto, our first president, and then Jose Eduardo dos Santos, and now, Jean Lorenzo. This Renault 6 right here was used by our very first president, Antonio Agustinho Neto in Congo Brazzaville. As you can see, we also have some statues of very important Portuguese people like Luís de Camões, Vasco da Gama, and Dom Afonso Henriques. And guess what? Yes, Angola used to be a Portuguese colony back in the days. That's why we also speak Portuguese. Actually, Portuguese is our first language. This statue here is the statue of Diogo Cão, the person who discovered Angola back in the days. Right here we have Paulo Dias de Novaes, the very first one who built the fortress of St. Michael, because right now the fortress was rebuilt. Yes, this is all new, all very new. Now that I'm actually living abroad and very, very far away, I miss it. I miss it a lot. That's why I'm here showing you guys a little bit of my country and where I come from. I love this view. This view is the Bahia of Luanda. What a beautiful sightseeing. I just love my hometown. And this is the flag of my country, Angola, where you can actually find on the emojis on your phone. <laughs> and this is the end of our day. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and like down here in this link. Take care.